welcome back to my channel it has been a while since I've done a whole house clean with me and this past week we had my daughter's birthday party so I cleaned most everything up from the party but the house just needed a good top to bottom clean and that's exactly what I like to do I love starting in the top level of our house because there's kind of three levels as you'll see and my favorite thing to do first is make our bed I don't know there's just something about um, having this area super clean um, first that motivates me to keep going and as a general rule if I'm gonna clean one room in the house I generally just clean our bedroom it's something that I do for both my sake and my husband's sake I feel like uh, even if the house is a mess our room the place that we rest in <laughs> is at least clean um, and we can go to bed with a peaceful restful area to sleep in so um, I just swept everything up made the bed I cleaned the mirrors and then I moved on to my daughter's room picking things up making the beds that sort of thing Next, I went into the bathroom and our shower really needed to be scrubbed out. So I emptied it out and I sprayed it down with the Method Anti-Back. That's my favorite thing to use in the shower, really to use everywhere. If you guys watch my channel often, you know I talk about it all the time. I use it on the high chairs, everything. So I usually spray it down, I let it sit for a few minutes, and then I use a Mr. Clean eraser and scrub the rest of it out. We do have hard water, so I feel like it's a constant battle to really make the tub look truly clean. But I do my best um, just to scrub it all up and at least get the first coat of hard water off of it. If you struggle with hard water as well, I would love to hear your tips and tricks on what you use in your bathtub. Let me explain this a little bit. <laughs> we just had my daughter's birthday party and so there was a bunch of kiddos that were playing in here and I just opened up the closet. Generally we have it like locked off so that the girls can only get out a few things at a time but I actually just opened it up and let the kids kind of have free reign which is perfectly fine. In fact sometimes whenever I see messes like this it makes me so happy because I know that little ones were playing and having a good time. So everything just needed to go back into its place and to be honest something I've learned with having a toy closet like this organized I've had it two different ways I've had it this way and then before this I had a lot of bins with lids and I discovered that having open top bins where you can just throw you know the Legos in the right thing and the stuffed animals in the right thing 
um, saves a lot of time to not have to open up the lid. So that's my tip. If you're going to do toy storage, have it open top so that you can throw everything away. Another thing that I do whenever the playroom is a really big mess is I use my broom to kind of gather the toys and to sweep them into a pile so that I can at least walk around and put everything away. Next, I got my mop rolling, and this is my favorite mop of all time. And you guys, I have five plus years of housekeeping and organizing and stuff for other people, so I've tried a lot of different mops, and this one is the best. Plus, you can put the head into the washer and wash it that way so the heads last a really long time and I have it linked below I have a section below that is called shop this vlog in the description box and you will find the link there um, as well as links for some other things that are probably going to be in this video so that it's simple to find All right, so this is the next floor of the house and the girls were playing kind of in opposite ends of the house while I was cleaning. So you might see them peek around the corners every now and then. Also, if you see me stop and like picking something off of walls, doors, or the floor, it's more than likely these tiny little stickers that the girls got into this past week and they have stuck them all over the house. So I was kind of collecting them as I went through and picked things up and cleaned each room. So this is our shoe closet. I love it. Although if I forget to put the closet locks on, the girls tend to get into it and drag out shoes and they're trying on shoes and playing and just making a big mess. So um, a lot of times that is a part of my cleaning routine is cleaning up a lot of shoes if I forgot to lock the doors. I just changed the battery in the vacuum cleaner. That is a question I get all the time. Do I like the battery life on this vacuum cleaner? I have two batteries, so I swapped them out and absolutely. In fact, I had a cordless before this that did not last near this long. So I'm super impressed and I just love this vacuum in general. And I feel like the suction is great. It's just an overall really good vacuum cleaner.
Okay, so this is something else I'm gonna leave linked below and that is this trash can. It was sent to me not that long ago to review and it's actually from Amazon. It is a motion sensor trash can so like you just have to wave over it for the lid to open and I love it so much. Plus it actually holds a lot. Our old trash can was more of a round shape and this one I feel holds way more and we can go longer without changing the bag. The other thing I love about it is that it has a little filter system in it so it helps to keep it less stinky and just keep the air clean around it. I love watching Instagram stories while I load my dishwasher. Usually that's the one time during the day I actually have time to do that and I can stick it up there on my window ledge and kind of listen and watch as I'm cleaning. I thought I would change up the music for you guys a little bit this time around. The song is so fun and funny and I decided to just add it in. I don't know why, but for some reason I just love the upbeat old jazz tunes. Everly's birthday was such a huge success and we all had so much fun, but I tell you what, having a lot of people in your house really leaves the floors dirty. It was high time this floor got mopped. Next, I made my way down to the bottom level of our house. It has a bathroom that's kind of under construction right now, and then our laundry room here, and then the family room that has been my project for the last little while. Um, so I just went through and swept the floors and got them ready to be mopped. If you guys are new to my channel and have not seen many of my videos, we actually took a wall down down here and really transformed the space and I'm slowly working on it. Just waiting for the right pieces to come along and hit good sales and that sort of thing with furniture. Speaking of that, this rug was an incredibly good deal. If it's still on sale, I will be sure to link it below for you guys. Thanks a lot for watching today. If you are new to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. Give this video a like for me and I will see you guys in my next video.